Well, a little change of plans. Um, I didn't go to the lake where we're fishing our tournament. I'm at this lake, Fogel Lake, and I don't know where it's where it's even at, but it's Lake it's Lake Fogel. What kind of a stupid name is that, Fogel? What are you trying to be an Irish R and B singer? Oh, they, they let you pick any name you want when you get down there. And you landed on McLovin. Yeah, it was between that and Muhammad. It's on the way to where we're fishing our tournament tomorrow. I'm, uh, Joe's not off work yet, so there's no sense in me going there. When I'm away from my family, uh, out on these fishing trips, I want to fish every second possible. So I know a question I get from a lot of people, a lot of guys want to know, how do you look on maps and find where different lakes are that you go fish? Well, here's an awesome resource right here on your phone. You know, this is the, I don't know if you can see that at all, probably not. Uh, this is the Iowa DNR fishing atlas. So you got all these little blue dots. So what I did uh, before I got out of there, that other lake, I zoomed in on the route where I'm going to this next lake where we're fishing our tournament and I looked for lakes on the way. You know, I found one lake, it was small, real small. This is a small lake too. And uh, I went back over to the Iowa fishing atlas and this is an awesome, awesome resource. It said that uh, on the Iowa DNR website, on the electrofishing survey, didn't look like there was very many fish, uh, largemouth that is there. So what I did was I, I backed out of that and then I scrolled down a little bit more and I found this Fogel Lake, which I might not even catch one, but in the electrofishing survey, survey data it said there's an abundance of largemouth bass up to 19 inches here so we're hitting this lake here probably won't catch anything we've only got about an hour or maybe a little bit over an hour like i always tell you guys i love to fish so if we don't catch any don't even care that's gonna be awesome hitting a new body of water i always love to hit new bodies of water you never know what is gonna be out there all right here we go new lake never been to this one first thing i do notice about it that makes it different than the one we were just at is that a little bit more color in the water so that means i'm probably going to throw some darker baits um, not as much grass either got this nice reed line here so i'm just gonna go from the boat ramp go back this creek see if we can't find something in between there's a bunch of this good standing timber out there uh, where the old creek probably poured in where it was created and we're gonna fish down this bank see if we can make something happen here on the bank cover some water Again, we don't have a ton of time to fish, but I would be completely fine with catching a couple of solid fish or even one. Again, not optimal topwater conditions, but we'll throw it a little bit, see if we can make something happen, see if, they'll, see if one will come up and eat this plopper. Not very deep right here, so we may need to go out to where that creek channel is coming in. Oh! That one just freaking crushed my plopper. Of course I was paying no attention. About to pull it out of the water. Oh yeah. <laughs> just a little guy. He had a large heart though. Good looking standing timber here. See if we can flip a couple up. Certainly would make sense. Nice little drop to four feet here in the middle of this creek channel. There should be a couple back here on these stumps. Ah, there's one right there. Let's see if there's any troll bass. Come on, troll bass. Oh. That was a better fish right there. Completely missed the frog. Let's see if he wants to come back and play. Yep. There we go. Look at that. There is bass in here. Pretty solid one. That's the biggest one I caught today. And it's not even two pounds, but whatever. I'll take it. See you, buddy. I could speak my knowledge for like four years and burn the game with my third degree. Matt's got his self checking out, so now a house to your looks like a room to me. Hey, you can try to rise when I race with the God, I get you the wheels. Driving percentage may lord of the rings. My shooters like Island, but Elf with the steel. Uh, that's just what I feel. Ain't too many can out talk to me. They like what I made. They started to buy the sold out demand. I carry beats like what the fuck you do. Need a ride to That's a 
better one for sure. Come here, buddy. Look at that. Two pounder, he choked that frog. A little bit better fish, biggest one I caught today. Nice. I'm liking this lake. This is pretty cool. I'm uh, I don't got much time left. I'm gonna go hit one more shallow spot. But this lake, I can't believe it. it. Just said it was 35 feet deep out in the middle of it. It's only like a 40 acre lake. It's got some potential to have some giants. But I'm gonna fish one more creek. Um, the deep stuff's kind of kind of tough to see on here. Kind of tough to fish. I'm sure if I could scan it a whole bunch more, it looks like there might even be some some uh, deeper rock or beds or something down there. I can't really tell what it is. I'm gonna hit this one shallow cove right over here and then get out of here, get heading back to, uh, get heading to the lake that we're gonna fish tournament at. I switched up from the regular frog to the popping frog and that just goes to show you, even if you're catching fish and getting some bites on one bait, it doesn't mean that you should be throwing that all day and still can't change it up. As soon as I switch over to that popping frog, which I love for this more sparse grass, um, when there's a little bit of chop in the water, a little bit of color in the water too, I start getting more bites and I've caught better fish doing it too. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put that pop and fry to work, see if we can catch them in here and probably flip around a bunch too. Yeah. Sweet. Another baby, but fun. There it is. Mm. Right where he was supposed to be. Another baby. Terrible cast. Where does Big Juan live? Tell me there's not a dad gum slouch back there. I speak real shit and nothing else Made it right here and did it by myself Need at least a million, nothing short Spitting round a wagon for the fiends to snort Call this with the lyrics, no indicators We don't care where you are pitching, everybody trying to be on They see you moving, wanna grab on the road All you gotta do is drop it when the product is though never seen it, always ask me. I don't get it, what you doing? Why you lying? Why you talking? Where you going? I ain't well that is it, that is all she wrote uh, On a little day of fishing Little local lakes on the way down to fishing our tournament. There probably is nothing I love more than fishing new bodies of water. It's just, it's that unknown where you don't know if there's gonna be loaded with big ones, a bunch of small ones, no fish, you have no idea. That's the, what's fun to me about fishing. You know, unfortunately I wasn't able to catch a big one for you guys today. I probably stayed out fishing a little bit too long trying to catch that big one, but super, super fun day. Caught a ton of frogfish. As always, I'll link everything down below what I caught the frogfish on and, and the flipping fish and stuff too. But we're gonna go catch some slaunches in the tournament tomorrow. Check back in a couple days, that video will be coming. Hopefully, hopefully, we can get five slaunches tomorrow. But as always, thanks so much for watching, guys. We will catch you at the tournament. I'm out of here. I'm always good until the end because I'm driven by gratitude, perspective. Yep, I just know what it's about. I'm good forever. Shit is binary, baby. Either you're in or out. Either you're in or out. I'm just in and most people are out. <laughs>